I, here, I got a funny story, though. Um, What's that? Does anybody know Kid Tyler? Kid Tyler? Yeah. No. No. All right. Uh, so there, there's this one guy. He's a cop. And he has a little brother named Tyler. And uh-huh. th- this kid's like eight years old. He's got He's like eight or nine. He's got to be. And but he plays with the brother. He, they already spoke to the admins and all that. Like he's he's underage. He's just he's just he's a kid. He, he's a child. Yeah. And um, Mita could not stand talking to him at all. For so uh-huh. just because I if, I'm surprised you guys haven't heard him. Like he's he's in Kavala all the time. Uh, and he yeah, just has like, what server? It, uh. Multiple servers, all of them. They, um, but he just he has the name Tyler. You'll you'll now that I pointed him out, you'll know him whenever you see him. They, he he goes under the name Tyler, but we call him Kid Tyler because he's a kid. So uh-huh. that so he we developed his name for him of Kid Tyler, and Mita could not stand talking to him. And so uh, when I was on cop yesterday, we had we had his brother in restraints, and he was with him, uh, and he wasn't wanted or anything like that, and. So danger came in the moderator and corporal. So I go danger. Uh, Mita does not like processing Kid Tyler or talking to him. Can you make it mandatory? Can you pull rank and make it mandatory that only Mita is allowed to talk to Kid Tyler? He's like, yeah, it's <laughs> mandatory. <laughs> so, so uh, we pulled him out of the helicopter last night, and I was like, hey, bring him over to Mita. And he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll, I'll go through each faction. Um, personally, I don't think R and R is going to get better until better decisions are being made. Yeah, I think it's going to. I think it's going to continue to decline and continue to get sloppy, and continue to con- continue to do random shit until they make better decisions and hold a hold a stricter policy. Um, that's my. That's all I'm going to go for with that. Um, APD. Um, I know Chris GG is super, super fair. Um, I mean, he's he's a dick, but in a good way. Um, yeah, like he he upholds things the way they're supposed to be upheld. He doesn't play favorites. He promotes people that are that deserve to be promoted. It's not just time. It's people that have a good reputation, good RP, know the rules. Um, people that deserve it and not favored into it and um he has a lot of good ideas for the apd that he's slowly implementing um like he's changing up the guns for one because he, we've had the same guns forever and so he gave the he gave the stings back to the deputies which was which is the best thing for deputies other than a pistol because you can't do shit with a pistol uh, unless you sneak up on that, somebody yeah. so even though the yep. Sting is an OP um, close combat gun because it's a rapid fire SMG so it sucks for that but you also have people with 7.62's shooting from 500 meters out a Sting mm-hmm. won't do that so the the only advantage that Stink has is close quarters. Um, so, oh, yeah, 100%. So he, great yeah. Cabal again. Yeah, so he yep. implemented that, which is really good. Um, he promoted the right people to Deputy Chief. Um, well, I don't really agree with Sandman, but I, I uh, agree. I, 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 I agree and Sandman disagree. Coming. I did. Really um, didn't see Sandman coming. I, I agreed and disagreed at the same time. Sandman knows his shit. He knows exactly what he needs to do. He knows how to run things. He know like he knows what he needs to do. That's what makes him good. That that's, true. that's the pros it of it. True. The cons of it is he's a selfish little asshole. Mm-hmm. So he plays by himself. He plays favorites. It's his way or no way. The, and so yep. he's and he's not a leader at all. He yep. he forces people to do these random stupid things that make no sense. He pulled a whole server to get six DB guys one day, and so the whole server had a had a five minute cooldown to get six DB members when there was already people when there's already a dozen cops on that server. 
So there's yeah. every every single cop slot was full, and there's 25 cops, 25 cop slots, and every single one of them was full, just because he couldn't get six DB members. So, um, those are his cons. That's why I disagree. So I'm I'm 50 50 on it. Yeah. I I agree. He knows he knows what he's doing. He knows his shit. He knows the rules. He knows what needs to be done. He knows the proper actions. Like I I give him all the props for being a cop. So being yeah. just being a cop based perfect candidate. Being a person a people person, absolutely not. So now I, now on the other person I I do say I did see how it was coming. 100%. I did I did too. I did too. I, I saw that I was, uh, my If I was allowed to vote or have a say in it, I would have picked Hylos and Nerdy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I, I thought... I thought Nerd, um, Nerdy, Nerdy has really chilled out in the last year uh, being senior APD. Um, beforehand, he was just like Sandman, you know? And, yeah. yeah but he's yeah, really he chilled out. He's become fair. He's become opinionated. Where he listened to everyone's opinion, he listened to people's ideas, strategies, and he's he's really chilled down. And so that my pick was Hylos and, and Nerdy. Um, so that, that's that's all for APD. Like I, so, so it's I'm gonna it's gonna take some t- it's gonna take some time to get things rolling because you know the whole processing thing of you gotta do this with these repercussions and these actions and the exploits and blah 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 and then move them up the chain it's gonna take some time but I do believe Chris G is a great chief and is gonna do great things uh, it's, it's so too early it's too, Panda, he's only been chief for like a month so he true, can't really yeah. do things but in, so in, the, in the long Panda term I believe it's gonna be great Panda and Luke Duke got promoted to lieutenant. lieutenants Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, oh, hey, hey, like you were saying a while ago, too. Um, th- isn't he really young? Isn't Panda really young? I don't know. I don't recall playing with him. There's been so- I've played with I'm so many sure. pandas. I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure he is. Um, but anyway, I, I, that, that's besides the point. We're, I mean, we're not, we're not talking on names here. Um, yeah. who, got, who got Sergeant? A hurricane, Cyanide, Noodles, Mako, Zoom. Supernova. Yeah, that's it. Lieutenants are Winters, Luke Duke, Stray, Nerdy, Hunter, and Panda. Um, Civ side, uh-huh. it's gonna it will always be cancer and toxic. Um, it will it will never change. Whenever whenever they start cracking down on these rule benders and rule exploiters between this and that on the rules when they get rid of those guys then it'll go back to normal but it'll always be toxic you'll, you'll always have the koala scat people you know run around rdming you're always gonna have rdmers uh, you're always gonna have vdmers you're gonna always gonna have passenger seaters you're always gonna have the toxic kids that run around asking for money you're, it, th- that will never change that's the that's the part of ha- bringing people into the server either you bring them in and they either learn the rules or they get banned and so it's yeah. always it, it'll it'll always be like that. It'll never change. I do believe there needs to be a better um, back end of structure. The rules need to be clarified on certain on on the major things. Um, they need to be clarified. Um, I think the gray and, areas need to clean up too. Yeah. That not you can't clean up every gray area. Because oh, it just absolutely won't. not! But there's definitely some that could use. Yes, staff for staff and owner side. I believe the current staff has gotten lazy. They are active in a in a minimal sense. Uh, Hattie and Mav are the only two staff members I've seen in the last month play as a normal player. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody, yeah, all the player. other, all the other staff. Um, they do their minimums, they do their back-end stuff, and they fuck off. That's pretty much what I've seen. Um, for Ryan's aspect, I see a lot of things, a lot of good things and a lot of bad things coming from him. Uh, he's young, he, he's got his, he's got too many fingers and too many cookie jars, and it's gonna bite him in the ass pretty soon. 
Um, that's that's just the kid thing, because he wants to get the M5 server going, which is fine. Uh, he wants to get a Minecraft server going, which is fine. He's got to keep upkeep on the three servers that we already have. Yeah, and I feel like he's so take he's, it one step at a time. Right, and so which is great. Like, I I totally support expanding the Olympus brand into things other than an Altus Life server. I totally support it. However, he needs to slow down and think it through first. You know, he needs to see what people want. Yeah, he he needs to he needs to get the the um, Arma servers are a priority. They're they're what grew Olympus. Yes, they need to, yeah, they need to be. Those stick are priority. To what you know best. You know? Yep. Yeah. So and, and get build, get build those take, Yep. Get those taken care of. Get them in a good area. Then then move on to the um, move on to the Minecraft server. You know, which which really isn't too hard. You know, it's Minecraft. You start a server, give people the IP. And that's it. Not too hard. Um. And you it's just have like people keep out, keep out for people that are that are hacking on it. You know, it's not not really that hard. And then get that running right. You know, assign some staff, make some new staff even for for that. You know, because it's really it's really not too hard. You just got to look out for X rayers, pretty much. And that's pretty much it. You know, Minecraft is a PV, it's a PVP game. You know, you're gonna get raided. You're gonna build. You're gonna lose your life. So all you have to do is look out for people that are that are hacking to. Um, to get stuff, you know, X-ring pretty much. Pretty much is the only downfall is, is X-ring. Um, so, super simple. Um, and the 5M, um, that's a whole nother ballpark, and they're working on it. They have great developers working on it. It can't take priority over the Ulta servers. If you start something new, it can't be your... Because it takes a lot more focus to start something new than it does to, than it does to continue running something that's already going. So, uh-huh. um, like this five, this M five or five M, whatever the fuck it is, server, they, there's, it's so new, and not a lot of people know how to how to code it and write the rule books for it and assign, uh, do the proper training for it and everything. Um, yeah, because five M is it's, way it's, different than Altus. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's, miles it's a, down, yeah, it's a, it's a great background piece. You know, work on it. Work on it when you can. Work on it when you want to. Work on it here and there, but don't let it take priority over the existing servers that we already have. Exactly. Yeah. Because once you do that, you're gonna lose yep. everything. And yep. so, and that's that's my only problem with Ryan. I think he has too many fingers and too many cookie jars. But I do see great things coming out of him. You know, I I'm totally on board with him expanding the brand. He just needs to take caution in doing that. Or else he's gonna yeah, go. He's gonna he's gonna yeah. move too many things. He's gonna have too many wheels spinning, and it's gonna fuck him up. So that's that's the only thing. It's not it's not even a downfall. It's more of an advice thing. And I I ran a company for ten years. I ran two companies for ten years. I ran a competing company against my own company. Hell yeah. And and it's which was hard work, but I never strayed away from my original company that I that I built. That right, I right. my my competing company, my my competing company sold the same thing for less. Uh, uh-huh. Even though if two, it mean, was completely completely different names. So if like uh, I sold disco lights, like exotic lighting, black lights, fog machines, stuff like that. Um, and end of September through the end of October was our busy season. Make easily make a hundred grand in those couple months, every year, right, right. easily. Um. And so during that time, I would not mess with the secondary site at all. It would, if stuff if stuff was listed, I let it stay listed. I did not mess with it because I knew my busy season was right here, and I need to focus on my main my main priority. So I didn't yeah, even because touch this it. was keeping you this was keeping you afloat. Yep. And so and then summertime is the is a slow season. Um, May May June and half of July. That was our slow uh-huh. season. So, all right, I'm gonna I'll go ahead and I'll list stuff on my secondary site for a less for a less of a price. So if they if they see okay, here's a disco ball for twenty dollars, but um, this person has it for eighteen ninety five, uh, and with free shipping, I'm gonna buy it from eighteen ninety five. Even though it's two different companies, it's still coming to me. So right. I so I made a competing right. company with my own company. 
Smart. And I, and I learned very quickly that my second company should never, ever take priority over my main company. Yeah, never. And even though it it's it cost a lot more because I was focusing on one company more than the other, uh, so it did cost a lot more because I couldn't get as much merchandise listed on it because I was, because right. I didn't let it become right. priority. So I'd, I'd list you know thirty things a week instead of a day. On my main side, I'll I'll, right. li- I'll list fifty items a day, uh, and then the secondary side, I'd do like thirty a week. Mm-hmm. So, but either way, in the end, so so I wasn't making as much money, and I couldn't, um, I wasn't putting out as much product, but it slowly it slowly got there, but you know it just takes time to do that kind of things, and and that's what I fear, that's what I fear Ryan's gonna do is he's gonna he's gonna just try to start too many things too fast at all at once, and he's gonna fuck up. Olympus, he's gonna fuck up the Altus lives in the process yeah. because yeah. he's gonna, because yeah. he's gonna take too much priority. And you, you know, there there was a point there that kind of thought, you know, wow, Altus may this may be the end of Altus. Yeah, like Altus I I agree. May die here. I mean, especially when all the hacking shit was going on. Oh uh, yeah, that was. And just they actually, it for they people. actually had to take uh, lawful actions to get it to stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can tell you them they will probably never do a wipe again. Because when they when they did the first wipe, it almost killed the server. It almost killed Olympus the first time they did the wipe back in 2014. Yeah, because people lose all their shit and they don't want to re grind for it because they already put yeah. enough hours into it. They shouldn't be. Yep. They shouldn't be. Everyone's at a com- well. All the veterans are at a comfortable spot. You know, they got millions of dollars. They got all their stuff in their houses. You know, they're they can. They don't have to grind for anything. If they want to go do something, they'll go do it. That's that's where I was for a while. I had 170 million, 175 million dollars. Like I can give a shit what happened. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I definitely did not want to regrind for 170 million dollars. Yeah, like it, that's coming from black. I expect way more from them. Yeah, like no, they're gonna do. Like, I don't know. My brain just got fried from that situation. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie. Like how you said how it's pretty, like how you were saying everything about it. My brain just got fried from watching that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm, I'm so you, you can lie. collaborate. You can collaborate with exactly what I said now. How it, yeah, it's a, it's a rule skirt. Or, yeah, like it's, my I brain mean, just it's got a, fried. It's an unwritten rule skirt. You try, you tried to bend them, and it didn't fucking work. And now you're my mad. My brain just fried from that, dude. <laughs> yeah, mad. and it's coming from a well-known gang too. So, but honestly, that's probably from mass recruiting because I see they mass recruited. A bunch of random ass people. So here's a here's a thing. Um, I keep pushing on push to talk, and I'm not on push to talk. But um, my friend back home, they her she's always on her phone. She has severe anxiety disorder and paranoia and shit. And so she's her phone like playing music and shit on her phone, tuning herself out of the world, like helps her keep calm, which is not healthy. But that's her yeah. thing, you know. Um. Yeah. And so every time I try to call her or text her or whatever, like her phone's always dead. Like it's always like in the red. And so I bought her a charging case uh, yesterday, the day before the 47 milliamp hours or something like that. So, yeah. And it's just a regular case. I, I have one too. Mine's like 6,500 or 65,000, something like that. I can get, get I can one, give, to be honest. I, I can get three charges out of it. Three full wow. charges. Because uh, it, you said it's a case. Yeah, it's an actual case. And see, I need to give me one of those because for my job, I actually, um, I'm actually an inside sales rep and account manager, so I'm on my phone constantly all day. So my, you can only imagine, what, like by what kind of phone? Do you not, have? But iPhone uh, eight plus. Really? Um, yeah, I I just haven't just haven't upgraded yet. I mean, I could, but I was just like, eh. Just haven't really wanted to, and um, like I by by eight by eight nine o'clock, like I'm already down to like, you know, fifty percent probably, like maybe more than that, some days, 
like I'm at least getting down to 60 at least by that time. So I'm on my phone a lot. You know, Jester. Yeah. He just got, per- he got burn bear just a little bit ago for uh really? quote unquote doxing. The senior support. Yeah. Jester. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's lead now? Uh, Roscoe again. Oh, nice. I mean, I saw that. My he fucking had to tags back. Uh, I think, he Roscoe, is, yeah, Roscoe and I have a Roscoe and I have a deal because technically Hylos gave me um, senior support team lead, uh-huh. and like he just randomly came into the channel and said, "Do you want it?" And I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Here you go," and it's on recording. Uh-huh. So he technically gave it to me. So whenever Roscoe got it, Roscoe and I came had a deal where I had the support team and senior support team tags. And I didn't have to do tickets, but I, I had the tags because technically I was made lead. Well, after two years on here, I finally got permed for some stupid shit. In case y'all are wondering, I was banned for quote unquote doxing, even though I never actually doxed the person. So there's that. Uh, there is not an admit of guilt because I did not do anything perm worthy, uh, but just because I don't want to deal with the shit any longer. I hopefully will get unpermed, but I'm making the post because I. If I do get unpermed, I will still continue being witch hunted, and it's hard to enjoy when that's happening. Anyways, I had a blast on Olympus, and honestly, I was thinking about resigning many times. So they threw me overboard, obviously, from falling, from failing my deputy test three times to getting FTO and support the team lead. It's been fun and hell of a grind. And he had a bunch of people. Does anybody use? Um, does anybody keep track of anything? First off, like filing so to speak like, uh, digital filing um like all the all the olympus stuff you know AP, like apd common links oh, like no. handbook yeah, and, all right um use if you don't use it i highly suggest using OneNote. if you have no. if you have windows 10 which i'm sure you do yeah. it comes free you just have to download it to the app to the app, uh-huh. to the app store and it's literally a digital file folder um, huh. Huh. I have it right you, here. It's instant dump. Yeah, you create you create your notebook. Like I have, um, I have so much shit on mine because yeah, you know, I, I was support team, which had a bunch of links, uh, and where you needed quick links and everything. And then right. I was um, senior support team, which had like all the background support team stuff and and all that kind of stuff. And then I was senior medic, and I was a uh, coordinator. Uh, and then I was staff, and then I was APD. And so the, um, I made a a folder tab, so to speak. I got support team, medic, Olympus staff, APD, RNR, um, ARC, Comcast, Arma, YouTube, mm-hmm. and a couple of business stuff. Um, I have those as my like main tabs. So for let's see, for instance, if I go to I'll go to medic because my main one. So go to medic. Uh, in the medic section, now I have pages. Um, yeah. And each page has a different thing. So I have I have a page called Interview Pages, which has all my direct links to the roster, life control, um, the interview t- pages, the um, the towing fee and invoice guide, the handbook, uh, exams and point trackers and stuff like that. Um, I also have Supervisor Apps in there, which gives which is pretty much default. Um, Message. This is before we had the. Um, this is before we had the form that you could fill out. So, uh, this says, if you're an experienced R and R member and you think that you have what it takes to to acquire the supervisor rank, please send the PM to Suki Mercury Max and Scribble. Um, form private message with all coordinators attached. Uh, format is up to you. Thanks. P.S. If it gives you errors. Errors as in person's name cannot receive messages. Do not stress to send it to as many coordinators as you can. Um, here's what you, here's what we look for in a supervisor: leadership must be active, the ability to submit your squad's play times on Thursdays, willingness to work with less experienced medics and help them help and train them, uh, soft skills and overall great medic skills, role play, blah blah blah. So it was the default message, but now we have the actual form where you send them the link and then they fill out the form. Um, and then I have common links. So, um, as a supervisor, it's good to have these, to get these questions all the time. Um, name change report. 
So I have a quick link to that. Um, absent report, the LOAs, uh, R&R applications, uh, the public chain of command, the handbook, um, then an idea sheet, a blacklist appeal form. Uh, and then I have another page called, um, I don't know how much of this I can tell you. Coordinator links. Oh, wow. Did you read the end of this uh, form? Of this uh, thread? Uh, mm-hmm. like, the me- like the messages or what? No, at the very end, where <laughs> Jester put at the very end. Oh, where oh. He says, to all the DB and people which hunting me, congrats, you uh-huh. finally rest easy knowing I'm not here. Still don't understand why you hated me so fucking much, but either way, it's a video game. Goodbye. I would also like to add, if I do get unpermed, then I will most likely be coming back. Uh, but I doubt it since DD runs the server. Goodbye, Olympus. 07. <laughs> Big oof. 